Okay, so next we're going to take a look at uh, Google Sheets. And there are two pieces of functionality right now that are available in Google Sheets. The first one is called Help Me Organize. And this can be used to create things like project plans, um, user lists, issue trackers, anything that's sort of a, a table, uh, like a table format that you might want to, to have in your sheet. So in this case, I'm just gonna ask it to create a project plan. So this is a pretty broad, non-specific request. And obviously the AI will take you know, some liberties here with what it thinks I want in a project plan. And again, similar to generating images, you'll notice with sheets, it takes it just a few seconds more usually. So we can see that what the AI created, uh, what Gemini created is you know, pretty standard, right? So we have tasks, we have milestones, status, priority. It's actually using these um, kind of chips within Google Sheets, with, which is nice. So you already have that filled in. We have due dates, notes, right? So pretty standard, right? Not bad. I could, you could work with that. Um, we can be a lot more specific. So I'm just going to paste in more specifics that I want the AI to take into account, right? So um, I want sp specific columns for a start and an end date. I want column A to be a work breakdown structure. Uh, I want an assigned to column, a notes column, and I want column B to be tasks. So we'll have it try again and see what it comes up with. So you can see that it actually knew what WBS meant. Sometimes it's not great to use jargon too much when you're uh, entering prompts in the AI, but in this case, it, it knows what that is. So we have our work breakdown structure. We have uh, tasks in column B, as I requested. And then we have start date, end date, assigned to, and um, we have notes, right? So pretty much everything I asked it to do, it did. Uh, and if I'm happy with this, which I am, I'll just hit, um, you know, basically uh, insert and it'll add that into my sheet and then I can go from there. Um, now the other functionality that's available in sheets is called enhanced smart fill. And this expands on the standard smart fill feature, which if you're not familiar with smart fill, basically if you're doing something repetitive in a sheet, uh, it'll kind of chime in and say, hey, we can help you. Let's just, you know, we'll do the same formula for every other row in this sheet. So the enhanced smart fill will do more generative uh, AI tasks. Like if you uh, have, let's say in one column, you have feedback from a survey and the other column, you're trying to figure out the people's sentiment who responded. Um, as you go through and you put positive, negative, neutral, after you do that a few times, the AI will chime in and a smart fill suggestion will come up with a little Gemini sparkle. And it'll say, hey, it looks like you're trying to do a sentiment analysis. We can populate the rest of those rows. So it's kind of cool. It'll do that. It's pretty hard to demo that. I've tried to come up with good examples. And after uh, once or twice, it kind of tends to not give you the same recommendation. So um, I don't have a specific example, but uh, it's pretty cool. It appears dynamically. Um, one other thing I just want to call out here, um, this badged label, this Google Drive label, this confidential, this is this was actually applied due to that AI data classification feature that uh, Grace mentioned earlier. So in our little sandbox domain that we have set up here, I have the AI classification turned on. So when users create or upload new files, this is what they would see uh, applied.